The 2017 Emmys are over and done, and just like any good award show, some people deserve their awards while others were robbed. It's all a matter of opinion, sure, but every once in a while, the Academy makes a decision that makes you go, What? What? Really? Really? No, 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 no way. No way they actually... No. No! So let's take a look at this year in animation, mainly the category of Outstanding Short Form Animated Program. Basically guys, the cartoon category. The contenders this year were as follows. Adventure Time, Disney's Mickey Mouse, Marvel's Rocket and Groot, Steven Universe, and controversially Teen Titans Go. Let's just cut right to the chase here. As some of you know by now, the show that ended up taking home the Emmy was none other than Adventure Time, making it Adventure Time's fifth Emmy win. Pretty impressive for a show about a boy and his dog. But did it really deserve the win? Well, I'm just gonna go out right here and say it. No. In my personal, maybe slightly biased opinion, Adventure Time most certainly did not deserve to win an Emmy, or any award for that matter. The episode itself was the fourth part of the Adventure Time Island series, Imaginary Resources. The episode, honestly, in my critical opinion, was lackluster. I'm gonna look solely on the plot of this episode on its own, ignoring the Island series for reasons I'll make clear later in the video. Essentially, Finn and Jake are looking for BMO. They find him in a city hooked up to a VR machine, so Finn and Jake go in after them. They find themselves in a massive virtual world populated by humans and matrix-like pods. Finn and Jake find BMO, and he's actually like a god there. But they still have to get him out of there, so Jake breaks out and destroys the machine that runs the virtual world. The humans all wake up and are furious at Jake for destroying their world and their home, and force him to turn it back on. And they leave with BMO. That's the episode. So was it Emmy worthy? Not at all. The episode itself was bland and not interesting. The jokes weren't funny and it had that annoying quirky lol random lingo that can only be found in later seasons of Adventure Time. Like sure, Slam a Cow was charming in the first couple of seasons maybe, but by now it's just old and tired. Overall though, it was just a bland episode of an Adventure Time that's already a shell of its former self. No amazing feat of animation was accomplished here, nothing that stands out. It wasn't even the best compared to the other shows. Heck, it wasn't even the second best. The Mickey Mouse short was way better than this pile of confusing jargon garbage, but at the risk of sounding completely biased, the show that really deserved to win was Steven Universe for Mr. Greg. I know, I know, the Steven Universe channel thinks the Steven Universe episode should have won? Shocker. But seriously guys, biases aside, Steven Universe was robbed of this Emmy. Not only because in terms of quality, it was the best show on this list, but also as a standalone episode, Mr. Greg is amazing. The episode centers around Greg becoming filthy stinking rich, thanks to a former song he made being adapted and used in a burger commercial. They decide to spend a lavish night in Empire City, living the life of luxury. They bring along Pearl, as the two have become distant since the events of Rose giving up herself to make Steven. What seems like a fun episode about Greg being rich soon leads to a serious dissection of Greg and Pearl's relationship and seriously develop their characters. Oh, and did I mention it's a musical? With really good songs? What makes this episode as good is its great character writing and musical numbers paired with the elegant style of Steven Universe. You can see just how much work went into this episode alone, all well, the passion that went into the art and the writing and the music. Mr. Greg is an episode full of passion and heart, sprinkled with comedy and music, all within a tight 11 minute package. It was a great episode of Steven Universe, a great piece of animation, and deserved an Emmy. Now, some may say the reason it didn't win is because you have to watch the entire series to understand the context of the episode. The Academy just doesn't have time to watch three seasons of a cartoon just for one category. But the Adventure Time episode itself was part of a larger mini-series, and it definitely didn't make sense on its own. So in the end, Steven Universe was just flat out robbed of an Emmy, in my opinion, and Adventure Time did not deserve it. But what do you guys think? Did Adventure Time deserve an Emmy? Did Steven Universe even deserve it? Did any of these shows deserve it? Let us know in the comments down below. I'm Retro Nemo for the Roundtable, signing off. This video has been powered by Patreon. If you want to give us some more support, head to patreon.com slash roundtablevids, become a patron, and get some awesome perks. Thanks for watching another video on the Roundtable. If you want to get more involved for our community and watch videos from Let's Talk with Tom, Voxbox, and more, Click the video right here, or if you want to get some more of the animation goodness, watch some Crystal Clear or Mini Monday, click the video right here, and please don't forget to subscribe.